Well, hello. Uh, I'm so glad you're here today. And uh, if you know it or not, you've traveled with us all the way to Red Bay, Alabama. So we're happy to be here arriving safely after we spent the evening in Montgomery, Alabama. And um, I'm going to put this so I can see your comments now. Okay, I think we're all right. And that's kind of like if you have any problem with the sound or whatever, just let me know so I can make some adjustments. Um, but right now, I feel like we're doing okay. Um, glad you're here, though. And um, if you've been following us this week, well, first of all, let me tell you, I'm with Artitude Adjustment. I do fun art, not fine art. And uh, I teach a class uh, to RVers uh, and RV rallies all over the country and uh, to manufa RV manufacturers, uh, to the Family Motor Coach Association uh, rallies, as well t as to private uh, resorts and stuff like that whenever they ask me. So anyway, um, we are just finishing a class that I've been teaching all week. Uh, since I got back from Toronto um, and it is let me show you what it looks like looks like that how about that love it when something goes right around here so anyway uh, this is what we're finishing up today or actually we'll finish it up tomorrow but tomorrow I will be announcing a brand new exciting class that will begin next week so you will be in Alabama for the next class so I hope you enjoy it uh, my husband and I travel full-time in our RV and um, we have been doing this for 12 years and so I and we've enjoyed it we've really enjoyed it so first of all we had to sell everything in our house and pick out the RV that suited us, and that's why we're in Red Bay, Alabama. We are at the birthplace of our motorhome uh, called Tiffin Motorhomes in Red Bay, Alabama. So um, we will be here a couple of weeks, so, oh, and I have to make a correction about something I said yesterday. Crazy, crazy me, cray cray me. Um, I said that we were going to be going to some of the special places in Red Bay and I gave you a, the, the, an incorrect name for the restaurant that we go to in Red Bay. We go to Swamp John's, not Catfish Johnny. See how I could get it mixed up? Yeah, that's one of the very favorite places people like around here. Only thing I don't understand are some of the things they put on your plate, like a great big slice of onion tops it off. I don't know where that comes from, but they do it, and so I'm okay with it. And it's delicious catfish, probably locally farmed. Anyway, um, I'm so glad that you're here, and I want to show you um, the finished project that I have, but I might do some more on the lettering. Might dress it up a little bit, like gussy it up. And also, um, because I think it needs to, to have a, a few little curvies here and there. Uh, as I said yesterday, if you still have not received a template for the project that we're working on, just let me know. Just send me your email and I will send it to you. So, I am so glad. Um, this project has been fun. And I thought maybe you were getting tired of painting pumpkins and witches already so we're just going to do the last of uh last of the uh, season flip-flops and you might need those if you're going to be in florida uh, with the storm and everything uh, our place is in central florida and um, so it looks like um, it's a possibility that we may be impacted if you are here please say hi so i can say hi back to you I'm glad uh, you know when people stop in, and I see that a lot of people do the replays, but 
I'm glad that you're here now. So anyway, let's go on and let me show you. Uh, whoops, whoops. What we're doing. Okay, now I have taken um, and I've shaded in some gray here on the flip-flops if you weren't here yesterday. I've also um, decided that I would put a few little curly cues on the uh, writing. Not necessary, it's just that I can't leave well enough alone. So, alone. So, anyway, I'd like to um, think that um, it'll make it uh, improve, you know, some of this. This is just, um, and I, this is just a white canvas bag. I cut, uh, and it's divided in the middle. There's a seam right through the middle of the bag, which means it's probably a beverage bag of some type, uh, wine or Coke or whatever to carry somewhere. And I always put a plastic sheet in the, in the uh, middle of the bag in case there's any bleeding, and I do that for all my projects. Oh, you're gonna love next week's project, so I can't wait to show you what we're going to do. So, anyway, uh, if any of you would like a template, oh, you know what, I think that sometimes this a project like this seems to be, um, doesn't seem to be important, but it will be important if you would just like to be quiet in yourself for a few minutes. If you'd like to just, um, you know be 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 in the moment uh, it's a very simple project and all my projects are a lot of the people that come into my classes say I can't draw a stick figure I cannot do this or that and they leave the class after having met a lot of new friends and also um, not only that but um, finding something that they can do that's a lot of fun. Um, this is the name of my class, and if you are not a friend on Facebook, I hope that you will become one. And this is my name, and I also have a Facebook page named that. And then if you would like to be my, face, my friend on Facebook, you could be, do that. Now, if you've been looking at me for a couple of weeks, what you saw was just a miracle because everyone would tell you that what I've been doing was, um, was not that smooth. So anyway, um, this is a great project for a beginner. It's a great project for uh, a grandchild and it could go on a bag. It could go on a pillow top and it's, uh, you know, just taken very basic colors to uh, accomplish the project. So anyway, uh, that being said, um, after you have painted this, I thought about this today and because of using the Sharpie pen for the letters, I would put a coat of Scotch Guard on this. If you have Scotch Guard or Fabric, fabric protector it would save it if uh, you have to take it to the grocery store and it rains on you or whatever so anyway don't forget to turn uh, turn in uh, turn this program on my, my Facebook live tomorrow at 3 p.m. I try to do this about every day and uh, I'm glad that you're here and I'll look forward to next time so Anyway, I also painted the pom-poms. Now, I, you don't even need to do this with the black, but I'm gonna try to make these stand out a little bit more with the black uh, Sharpie. Not necessary, like I said, but it kind of like does its own little thing. Let me show you what I do if I'm kind of going to gussy this, these letters up a little bit. I probably would just 
do a few little loops because I can. So see, it just makes it look like these. Now this kind of looks like a, what is it, octopus, octopus tentacles. So do you like it or not? Say yes or no, no. Yes, I think it dresses it up a little bit. And I'm gonna take that off, oh, take it off. Um, and also, this is the name of our travel blog. Uh, if you're ever really bored to tears, that's the name of our travel blog. And I've been writing it about nine years now. So I have a lot of content and I write about our travels. Um, RV and MH are the initials of my husband and myself and we didn't realize that this was really the direction we should take in our lives until we realized that RV for recreational vehicle and MH, that's my middle name, Margaret Hazel, was where we were, where we were supposed to be. So anyway, uh, so tomorrow Get ready for an exciting new project. I'm glad you're here, and I hope to see you again. Make that uh, on your calendar that uh, at three o'clock tomorrow, you'll see me uh, for a live. Y'all have a great day, because it is a great day to have a great day. And if you're not following me on Facebook, uh, on Facebook the name of my page is Artitude Adjustment. So, by Marty Whitney. So thank you a lot for being here. Y'all have a great day now. Bye-bye.